Hi everybody, this is Brian from CSS. Just want to quickly go over how to create a MyCap entry. Step one, grab an iPad and unlock it. All of our iPads have the exact same passcode, 1937. This makes a nice X on the number pad. Once you unlock the iPad, you'll then have to access MyCap. Simply touch the application to open it. If you do not see this application on your home screen, then you may, may need to just press your finger to the iPad and swipe left or right to see any additional screens that might be on the iPad. Once you open up MyCap, the only option for our users is the blue plus sign. Press this blue plus sign to initiate a new entry. The first scan for users is prompting them to scan their employee badge. The best advice I give all of our users is to simply move the iPad in and away from the barcode while also simply tilting the iPad slightly to try to capture that barcode scan. The only other trick I've sometimes seen work is to lean over the iPad and the barcode while scanning to create a small shadow. The operating room lights have been known to play tricks on users. After you scan your employee badge, you'll then be asked to scan either an OR case ID or a CSN. If users select no, that neither is available, there will be a lot of manual entry for the users. However, as long as they can secure either a CSN barcode or the seven digit OR case ID, life will be much easier. The next screen will simply ask you to clarify if you have an OR case ID or CSN. If you select CSN, you'll scan the barcode. If you select OR case ID, you'll then be prompted to input the case ID. Next up is, are there any errors? Yes, if you have errors. No, if you're simply completing a survey. Then you'll be prompted to scan in the Sensatrack barcode. This is important because it shares all of the tray history with us. It'll tell us the last time the tray was used, and then when that tray came back to CSS, who was in deco cleaning it, which one of our technicians was assembling it, it'll even tell us which sterilizer machine the tray was placed on. Then you'll be asked to identify what type of error you are entering. We have our most common error types on this wheel. They are foreign body or debris, instrument accuracy and integrity, set handling and delivery, set organization, set sterilization, no information available, and missing or incorrect set sent. The no information available option is simply our wildcard option that will just open up a text box for any issue you might have that doesn't fit nicely into one of the other descriptions. Depending on which error type you select, you will then be given specific options based solely on that error category. The slide you see on the screen in front of you now shows all of these embedded questions. Um, for foreign body or debris, there's bone, blood, bio, burden, no information available, or foreign body or debris. Instrument accuracy and integrity has missing instrument, incorrect instrument, or broken instrument. Set handling and delivery has tear or hole in wrapper or wet wrap or tray. Set organization has incorrect instrument order or a disorganized set. Set sterilization, missing or compromised filter, indicator lock, or the incorrect sterilization technique was utilized. No information available, that's just our text box for wildcards. Missing or incorrect set, this new option, you will select either the missing a set or the incorrect set, and then the text box will come up for you to further expand the details of the issue. Then we have the single most important piece of this entire process and application. Can you please take a picture of the tray error? Please, please, please take a picture of all the tray errors. The picture is truly worth a thousand words to our investigation and will help us insert corrective measures to do our best so that the same errors do not replicate. Lastly, you will be taken to the thank you for completing this form screen. Please make sure you touch the click here to finish. You must touch the click here to finish in order to activate the done button. 
Then you can press done and you have com successfully completed a MyCap entry.